Hello, all you cartoon lovers out there. Tim Nidell from Saturday Morning Rewind. Make sure to subscribe to my personal vlog channel. Link down below. Today's video, I am showcasing one of my favorite voice actors out there working today, Maurice LaMarche. Of course, he is the voice of Brain. It's probably a fan favorite of everybody's. If I had to pick another one, though, I would probably pick Egon from the real Ghostbusters. He did such an amazing job voicing Egon. But what about you guys? What's one of your favorites from Maurice? I actually have the honor of meeting him. I think it was about four years ago at the uh, Voice Actors Rock event in Hollywood. Such a sweet, sweet guy. And he was on my podcast, the Saturday Morning Rewind podcast. I'll leave a link below for that too. Maurice was actually a stand-up comedian before becoming a voice actor, and he really used his comedic timing and his use of impressions to take his voice over to the next level. So here it is, my tribute to Maurice LaMarche. Pinky. Are you pondering what I'm pondering? No, Pinky. The money. We'll get it from the U.S. government. Start paddling, Pinky. We must reach the lab before tomorrow night. Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Attention, citizens of Wimpsville. I am Man Boy. All the power of a man in the body of a boy. Here. Everyone is encouraged to reach his or her highest potential. She used to visit from time to time, but years ago she left to wander the world in search of enlightenment. I present a seared wild Kiyoshi elephant koi, paired with a ginger-infused pea tendril and hibiscus root salad. You come here unannounced on the day my daughter is to be married. I trusted you, Nikki. We broke bread together. And how did you repay my generosity with a rug? Okay, boys, suit up. These rich jerks won't know what hit them. Yeah. This nightclub's being hijacked by yours truly, Al Capone. Yeah. Napoleon, you're back? Yeah. Tell me, Michelangelo, why do you have no home? Get that turtle out of here. Turtles are not to be trusted. Why have a shell except to hide things, yes? <laughs> well, we left rotten away in here. I'd never liked you either. Oh, no. Not her. We always get the worst end of it with her. Hmm. According to this map, I guess I'll have to follow my nose. Whoa. Sorry, no time to hang. There's blue fruit to be found. Ha, ka, 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 ka. What is it, honey bunch? Ha, ka, 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 ka. That's me boy. Scrooge, eh? Yes, it is you. Don't you recognize me? That was my evil twin brother, Ray. Ah, at last, free of this horrible iron mask. It is? Hmm, now that you mention it, I do see the resemblance. What? Who did that? I'd like to see those bullies try anything now. What? Oh, oh, oh! You're right, son. We might as well make the best of it. But you just can't bring an animal into a foreign country. They have to be quarantined. You're disgusting. I feel unclean. I said silence, you horrid gnomes! Prepare to receive a horrible, twisting curse that will last 4,000 years. I've got a full day ahead, so let's go. The green fog? Piffle! You want to fight a stench? Try to battle with the brown fog! Now that was a smelly fog! Hey, jerk face! This ain't no chicken! Who wants chicken? Woohoo! Yeehaw! I'm free! So long, losers! Oh my! Where is my wallet? Well done, lad. You're a good boy, a wonderful student. And as a reward? Now where did I... Oh, they were right over... It's going to be all right, shiny boy. I can't argue there. <laughs> but just remember, you can't let robotics seize you. Keep your speed up. Shields ready, sir. Sir, motion sensors detect fast approaching object. Now that I have your attention, it is time you found out who you are, Prince Sonic. 
Oh, sir, thank you for seeing us, sir. How may we serve your royal greatness? You have only to ask your amazingness. We're gathered here, as you know, to figure out if any of you Dinobots was involved in stealing Fort Knox and the Taj Mahal. You got dinosaur electrons in your circuit, Skylinks. Wilson, what have you done? This is getting out of hand. I know where we have to go. Uh, born, and they're getting stronger. Do what you must. She can learn to control it, I'm sure. Until then, we'll lock the gates. Gadget, here's your assignment. That gadget? I don't know how you did it, Gadget. What's that, Gadget? That's what I wanted you to think with your soft human brain. I'm afraid my half-brother is correct. You see, I have a terrible secret, and that secret is... You call us a table? You call this a table? I wouldn't hit a guy over the head with this table. You hear that? The Donbot don't like it. I ought to clamp you. You want to be clamped? Sir, this is a leisure cruise. Our path was set by the travel agency, but that course leads directly through a swarm of comets. Thanks, human female. Puny Earthlings were shocked today to learn that a ball of garbage will destroy their pathetic city of New New York. I'm taking my wife. You can't stop me. No. What she wants is to live a long life in the warmth of the sun. Her hand in mine. Exactly. This is where the ghost was hiding. According to these readings, it was a sleeping ghost. If only we could make it understand that in the final analysis, we're trying to help it. There's no place quieter than the containment unit at home. It'd have all the peace and quiet at once. Oh, it's a fine bird, truly fine. I only wish it could be bigger. There are so many of us. I, I think you'll learn his lesson, as I assume you too have learned yours. That is, of course, why you are here. Frimmer, Frammer! Abba Baba Loki! Those are you fool! Can't you see it's a trap? Curses! <laughs> a free newspaper! Here I was off to the newsstand to buy one, and lucky me, I find one sitting right here in front of Mickey's house. Hey, Dopey! For the love of cheese, quit your goofing off with that squirrel! These Jolly Berries aren't picking themselves! Hey, those two trees weren't here a minute ago! Not weird. Strange. I am master of the mystic arts. I know many things. Together, we shall defeat this entity by entering the realm of Dr. Banner's mind. Aha! Black Jack Shellac, the most formidable tracker in all the Klondike, has found you! Give me the wrench. No, Junior, the wrench! Get off the jack, you pea brain! I told you he'd find him. There's no finer tracker than my cousin, Black Jack Shellac. Did you hear that, Cobra Commander? Luckily, now that you're a snake, you will be unable to bungle this operation the way you nearly ruined Cobra when you were a man. Amazing to think that slithering incompetent once led Cobra. My name is Serpentor, not Serpy, and I am not a bloke. Welcome to Sorcerer's Mesa, Sergeant Slaughter. It is the last of the Dragonfire sites that Cobra wants to capture. My Eagle Freedom seeks an elder who remembers how to invoke the power. Scoop, you know Joe Headquarters from the inside. What can you tell us about Sergeant Slaughter's plan to defend Sorcerer's Mesa? Commander, the Joes seem more concerned with keeping us away from the Mesa than defending their base. Make sure what, boss? What? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. I wanna play! Whoever it is, I'm gonna nuke him into the next solar system! Bottoms up, bio brat! We're tired of your goody green shoes programming! Yeah! Waste and violence! <laughs> oh, yuck! It has oh, pickles! Nice job back there, Lilith. When did you learn to juggle? Well, I'm listening now. So, help me pick. What disguise should we use for our next robbery, hmm? Mm, uh, hungry! Did you need to stop first? <laughs> a, a, a stupid bug! Wish! Bye-bye, stupid bug! 
I'm Orson Welles, and the subject of today's show is tune physics. In real life, an anvil is much too heavy to lift and drop on an unsuspecting duck. Good evening, Acme Acres! Ooh, they're making a fashion statement. Shirts with no pants. I'm a fuck doing Shakespeare. Oh, oh, I'm Hamwood, the Prince of Denmark. Uh... Wow, ma'am, you're prettier than an ox roast! One plop on the house, sugar dumpling! <laughs> well, what do you know? Just what every cat wants. Breakfast in bed. <laughs> That's my boy. <gasps> Son, speak to me. Are you all right? I don't think such a game exists, Ralph. Common, hold that thought. Oh. Okay, as you were saying. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe somebody left the medal. You're welcome to dig through the lost and found. Even I have followed your online efforts to keep the Hulk in check. You should be commended for your diligence. Punished for invading the kingdom of Victor Von Doom. I can't believe what I've done. My spike was supposed to send me to your world, but instead, you're here. <laughs> As for us, son, we may not be real to you as yet, <laughs> but we will be. You've come to a whole new world. With this cryonic capsule, we shall freeze ourselves and reawaken 40 years in the future. Pinky, are you pondering what I'm pondering? We shall become characters on that insipid puppet show. I will endear myself in the hearts of the children. Mr. Speck, report. Sad phases on Shake and Bake. Hey, Slappy, did I show you this? I'd like to see Mr. Plotz. <laughs> Why don't I uh, just wait? <laughs> Out, you incompetent fools! You call yourselves artists? You just can't get good help these days. You see, if you were a good feather, you had it all. You were a somebody in a neighborhood full of nobodies. Ah, don't laugh, guys. I just want to be a tough bird, you know, like you, Pesto. You're about to contribute something of lasting worth to society in general. And all you have to do is sit tight. Oh, hi, kid. Glad you could join us here at the Flyabuff Brothers Laboratory. This is where we work day and night without being paid overtime, I might add. I'd like to propose an OJ toast, the most sacred kind. Today's the day we go from being one big happy family to being one big happy family with a TV documentary about us. My fellow actors, we live in a dark time. I've just been contacted by a very important political leader who is bringing all the world leaders together for a massive international peace conference. Mr. Seville, my name is Talbot. Lawrence Talbot. Your <clears throat> kids just trampled all over an irreplaceable specimen of aconitum planted in my flower bed. Stay away from me and stay off my property. Talking to talk and walking to walk. I remember. But of course, if this is too rich for you, I'll have my cooks make you a banana split. I am not like you. I am Simeon! Well, Chief, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Unless, of course, you use those powdered eggs. Your assignment? Find out how and where these criminals are getting their powers and put a stop to it. Go, go, gadget, inflatable jack. He says to me, you got style, baby. If you're gonna be a real villain, you gotta get a gimmick. And so I go, I says, yeah, baby, a gimmick, that's it. High explosives. Ah! <laughs> I can't say anything. Which mine shaft did you say it was? No. You can't let him talk to me like that. Yeah, shut up. Well, uh, idiot, it says Zabar's on the package. Millhouse. For Superman 2, I got five million dollars for three days' work, so don't expect any more free advice from me. Is Bart Simpson here? Because I'm about to make him and his family very wealthy. My name is Herman Millwood, and my company makes the Arrow Chair. The devastation is incredible. They're grinding up the bodies of human beings. Now they're playing the xylophone while bowling near an airport. I am the Grandmaster Wizard of Ceremonies. 
contestants will fight each other with spells from the eight schools of magic. No weapons, Weaponhead! Hmm. Like I told you in the Black Lagoon from the previous season, not all tomatoes are vicious veggies bent on pillage and destruction. Yeah, yeah. Whenever some tomato messes up, they always call on ketchup. <laughs> exactly what are we questing after? Tomacho! I want you to go to the heart of Africa and make it safe for tomocracy. Because I said so! You, get started on our victory pile. <sighs> Boris, dreams don't mean anything. They're just... <sighs> dreams. <sighs> but I remember that she was as white as snow. Well, then, Boris took me in and... <laughs> after being raised by a goose, it's a wonder I don't honk instead of bark. Perhaps across an immense ethereal gulf, intellects vast, cool, and unsympathetic regard this earth with envious eyes. Quiet, old guy. I can't hear the TV. Whatever. You go sit down somewhere. I can't Area see. 51. And I raise you a dime. I'm telling you, it's true, you guys. That King guy's an expert. He knows what he's talking about. Look, son, we done finished up in the goat. Your Aunt Stinky mixed up a fresh batch of lemon fish juice. Why don't you offer your friend a cup? Ain't worth it. Nothing will ever grow in this forsaken place. Hello, princess. It's reform school cupcake, not jail. Although, admittedly, it is a lot like jail. How much for the crystal ball? And will you take a personal check? No! no. All right, it's just a question. Kids, I've been trying to reach you on this thing for months. Daphne, Shaggy, Scooby-Doo, where are you? Oh, wowie, wow, wow! A dwarf burble. This dwarf burble is of no use to mermaids, sweetie. It's a bird seed that humans give only to their most favorite birds. Huh? Yo! Oh. Woo! <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> huh? Oh. A very special piece of glass. One of only three in existence. Yes. Fortunately, the other two skulls are both within driving distance. One of them is right here in the city. It belongs to Wilhelm Reichardt. Jack, you know what you can do now to make ends meet? Wrench, wrench your front teeth out as a billboard. <laughs> I'm going to finish you off later, Jack, because right now I want to bring up the one and only Santa Claus. Okay, I always like to do one thing that is impossible, so right now I'm going to blow this horn into my lungs. <laughs> Speaking of crumbling, is that a new blue cheese, I see? Complex. With some cheese on her bones. <laughs>